This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this this video. I'm unsure what this video is going to be like. I've had a thought. I've actually styled three rooms. They are kind of like little tiny homes. I've styled them using the new eco lifestyle pack, but also base game. And I've styled them in three completely different ways, just to kind of see what I could get out of it, what style I could get out of it, what look I could get out of it, just by using those two packs. Um, and I managed to come up with three rather, well, in my opinion, quite nice little cheeky rooms. I've made them look like shipping containers, so they look like a little shipping containers. And in them, they're, they are classed as a room. But your sims could live in them quite easily. You could even mix in the tiny living pack with this as well. Or whatever packs that you've got. I will put all three of them up on the gallery as well. I was going to do them as a speed build. But it was just going to be too long. And to be honest. I just wanted to delve into the pack. Including the debug mode. Which is amazing by the way. If you have not checked out the debug mode yet. You must do. Because there are so many more furniture pieces. That I was unaware of. Um. And yeah, we're just going to have some fun. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to wander around and have a look at the world lots. We're going to have a look at the lots and see what we can come up with. Because in the future, I'm going to be bringing a series out on this channel where I'm going to go around and modify and make the EA builds look a little bit better. Because some of them, they're not very good. And we know this as a community, they're not very good. So... I really want to try and go around the worlds and try to just fancy up the EA lots. I don't know when that series will be starting, but as I said, I will be doing this full time soon. So in the near future, we'll leave it as that. But without further ado, I'm going to show you the first lot. The first one that we're going to show you is the industrial style that I went for. So here she is. This little cheeky number here. Um, Yeah. It's a shipping container. Again, it's the shipping container. But this one here is classed as a room. Uh, if you download this off the gallery, it will be up and classed as a room. So you can place it down. And what I would do is shut off the toilet. I always leave the wall open on the toilet to make it classed as a room. But yeah, this is the industrial one that we've gone for. So let's have a little wonder inside and see what we did with this one. So it's got everything. Your Sims could move into this straight away and move into... Uh, but I just love it. I think it's really cute. We've used this one here is from Debug. This uh, sofa. So is that chair over there. Those chairs are amazing. I love them. And I'm so glad that they're in game. But I just wanted to style something on the lines of industrial. So you can see I've used a lot of exposed brick. We've gone for nice wooden floorboards. And lots of kind of metal um, finishes on the objects. Which a lot of the eco lifestyle um, objects do come in. It does have this kind of industrial vibe to it uh, but you can also mix it up and use it as different um in different styles as well which i love i'm in love with this i'm in love with that painting i think she is absolutely beautiful i said that in the last video didn't i i did um also that lamp there that lamp is something i think you can you can fabricate all of this furniture so the the sims actually make this furniture using the fabrication machine so that's really interesting to know. And I mean, I'm, I really, really like the furniture that comes out of them. I really do. And those candles there are the ones that you make in the candle one too. Um, This is the kitchen, obviously. Obviously, we had to use the base game counters and whatnot because we didn't get uh, any counters with the pack. Still a bit salty about that. Won't lie. Won't lie to you. But fully working kitchen. Your Sims can use this very easily. Uh, I've player tested everything as well, so it does work rather nicely too. And then over into this area here, this is the bedroom. I separated the bedroom off with this little ivy wall piece going on here. Um, and then one of the beds as well, which is another fabricating bed. But I love, I've placed the windows around. I put all of the furniture in and I placed the windows around after to work with what we had. It was quite a good way to build actually. I really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that way to build. So this is kind of a sort of cabin style window which is at eye height yet yeah, it's not very private but it's fine it's absolutely fine um and into the bathroom as well so what i would do is put a wall there when you do uh download this or if you download this and then you can put a door and it should work absolutely fine again toilet lovely lovely little basin going on there this should all work absolutely perfectly 
Um, but yeah, I just had a lot of fun styling this. I really, really did. I love the vibe and the lookout into like the living area, especially when this door slides open as well. I wish that we could keep that door open. I know I've said this like two times on YouTube now and once on Twitter, but I just bloody wish it would. I really do. I'm fuming. Absolutely fuming about it. But yeah, this is the industrial style one. Um, the next one, I've gone for a Scandinavian kind of vibe. So the aesthetics are a lot more lighter, a lot brighter. Um, and I really, really, yeah, I really, really enjoyed doing that one. So let's flop that one down and we'll have a little wander around that one as well. Okay, this is the Scandi, the Scandi shipping container. So it's obviously it's got a lot brighter, lighter aesthetic to it. Um, I really like it. Love that white um, wallpaper, like the white shipping container wallpaper. Sorry, I just banged my mic then. Um, I, lo I love it. Absolutely love it. Love the lighter tones in here as well. It's got a really calming feel in here. If you can see, obviously I had to use base game counters again. Still fuming. Uh, but I love, I love these chairs as well. These chairs are from Debug. They are, again, fabricating. So it's what your Sims can make. But you can go into your cheats and get them out of debug if you so wish i would have put more stuff up up, up on here um and i definitely would have put a skylight in here as well could have done that with a roof but it doesn't class it as a room then which is a bit of a shame so i left that a bit more bare for you guys to be able to go where's the sink gone oh the sinks disappeared for goodness sake well we'll pop that in now just so i don't forget and you guys download it and it's gone from game so base game sink, I'll use this one here in that bright silver. There we go. So they've got space to cook on stuff. The bin's there, so you're going to be absolutely fine. Let's get those walls up again. Have a little wander around. So this is obviously the living area. Uh, I really like putting the wood burner on a like an angle into the room. So I did put a little angled piece of... Uh, what I'm going to say is this is a, like a... Let's get the roof off. What I'm going to say is this is like a plywood sliding door. So this would slide across. This one stays fixed. And then this one here slides across and connects to there. So you can separate the bedroom off. Obviously, that's not real. But that's what I was thinking when I was building this. And I was all for it. Won't lie. Love that shelf, by the way. That shelf is gorgeous. It's obviously from the new pack. I'm here for it. Uh, again, I put the windows in this, um, yeah, well, this tiny home after I place all the furniture just to make the... Uh, yeah, just so I could get the best out of the windows using my architectural knowledge. I have no architectural knowledge. <laughs> Only building in The Sims. Um, and I've used this like shelving unit in most of the builds to use. It's a, it's a good separating um, piece of furniture, I think. You can separate the rooms quite nicely with it. Uh, love these kind of... Are they supposed to be like, I don't know, like coffee sack like chairs? That's what they remind me of. Another one of those lamps that you do get from the fabricating. I don't mind them. They're a bit chunky. They're a bit chunky for my kind of feel to them. They're very The Sims. Um, but I think it still looks cute in here. I love that kind of... What's that called again? Something tooth. Tooth. I love that pattern. It's also on the bed as well. So the bedroom kind of creeps into this way. As I said, that door would slide across in my imagination. And I kind of liked that idea. And I, I just love the feel in here. It's a lot brighter. It's a lot lighter. But again, it's using the exact same stuff just to get a different feel from it. I actually went ahead and used the new toilet and sink in this one. And I did in the next one as well, just because I wanted to. And not a lot of the base game stuff would were kind of fitting in with the aesthetics. But I'm I'm not a fan of that new bathroom set. I'm really not. Uh, but it's, it's still good. It's still good. It's just not my taste. Not my taste at all. But yeah, I think this is cute. I really, really like this. I would add a lot more in if I could have all the packs. There would definitely be some more skylights. You know me, I love a skylight. I really do. And with these windows here, these corner windows come in so handy because you can put the kind of wall on an angle like in this kind of fashion and then fix that like window onto the edge of it. I've also done it in this corner here, look. Um, and it just gives that like space like I don't know just something different I love that love it but yeah again this is on the gallery as well so you feel free to go and download this uh I will whip it up as soon as this video is up on YouTube so right the final one the final one is a bit more of a contemporary um modern-esque but it's got lots of flair it's got a few splashes of really fun colors and stuff so let's have a little look shall we 
And here we are on the final one. So as I said, this is the more contemporary. Had a little bit of fun with this one, especially with the colour on the outside. I love that yellow colour with the shipping container wallpaper. I think it's stunning. So this sliding door opens straight up into the kitchen slash dining area. Um, love that colour green on those chairs. I'd imagine those chairs are made out of leather. I don't know why. They just give me a leather vibe. Um, but yeah, I love this. Lots of nice pops of colours. I just used the um, concrete flooring with this one. And I did use a lot of the concrete wood tones. But I also went for a fun kind of green copper splash on each end of this room. Or tiny home, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm for it. I really am. I thought I forgot a bin then. And I didn't. I put one there. And what we've done with the kitchen is just done a little half wall there. Look, and climbed the ivy up in between it. I just thought that was quite cute. Added a little bit of separation. Love the new steel girder like um, pillars. I think this stunning. But yeah, again, as I said with that shelving unit, it's a really good unit to separate your rooms off with if you are going for an open plan feel. So what I decided to do that. Um, obviously, I'm going to be using that wood burner in every single one of my builds from now on. So we've had to flop it in here as well. It was only right, to be honest. Um, and yeah, nice little living area. I love that colour couch. Again, this is one of the couches from Debug. Love it. Your Sims will be able to build that. Um, I wish we had some smaller coffee tables with this pack. The, the coffee tables are massive and they just swallow up the room. So they don't really fit in with tiny rooms uh, or tiny houses. So I had to get a base game on and size it down. Uh, and just a plain glass one. Again, as well, that there is something that your Sims can make. It's an armchair. Love the shape of it. It's really nice. But yeah, I just thought that was really cute. Uh, the swatches on this here is just amazing i love that painting there i would definitely have that in my house i may t i may take inspiration from that actually and paint it myself for my house i'm unsure yet unsure but i might do okay so finally over into the little bedroom area i just put in the same splash of color that we had going on that way into this room too and i love the lightness and brightness in this room not the most private of bedrooms no but i would imagine that these windows come with those shades that you can just slide out from the frame we're going to say that we're going to stick to it and then no one will shout at me but yeah really cute really cute quite minimal as well which is i like um and the bathroom is pretty much the same as the last one but i just went for a darker aesthetic with this one and it fits in quite nicely but i'm still not a fan of those still not a fan in the beginning with this one i actually put a sliding door here and had a sliding door here i wanted this kind of flow through uh, and I was going to put the kitchen in the middle, like on an island, but it was just too much of a small space. And I didn't want to make the um, the actual room itself any bigger. So I decided to just keep it this way. And it's came out okay. Not too bad. But yeah, cool. So yeah, that's just give you guys some ideas on how you can just play around with the aesthetics of this and have a little go at making your own yeah feel looks and feels of different rooms or different houses. The choice is yours. So I think what we'll do now, we're going to go and have a wander at some of the pre-built houses and just see what they look like. We'll have a little look through everything inside. Uh, we'll get as many as we can in. And, and then I'll tell you my favourites and my least favourites. I think that'd be quite cute and quite fun. So first up, we're going to start on a good one. I want to check that crane out. And let me just say this point as well. I have not looked at any of the pre-built um, houses yet at all. I've made sure to stay away from them because I knew that I was going to be making this video. So, yeah, let's have a go, shall we? Okay, first up is this beautiful crane build. I'm going to make it my mission to find out which person on the Sims team made this. Because, as I said in my previous video, it's the best build I've ever seen already put in the Sims. Quite easily. And I have not even had a look inside yet. So that is what we're going to do. I've just noticed that they've used them on the top of the shipping containers. I like that. I'm going to steal that idea from you, my love. Whoever you may be. Oh, for sure. Okay. So obviously up here we said there was a little bed in the top here. So there is just like a little cheeky bed. Using the new uh, door as well that we got with the new pack. Yeah, that's really cute. Definitely. Oh, that's very nice. I think I would have put a bit more windows in here. But I still love it. I don't know, actually. No, I wouldn't have. No, I'm not going to say... Oh, look what they've done with the girders there. That's so cool. Just put them in different orientations to make it look like a big pillar in the middle. I love that. And then, obviously, as, as we said last time, this is a bathroom. Ah, oh, they've used that, like, futuristic base game shower as well. That's cute. I like it. I do. 
What have you got going around here? So obviously stuff for your Sims to sell and whatnot. So they would obviously be quite self-sustainable here. Candle maker. Love all of the mix of different chairs. I used to do that so much uh, a couple of years ago. I do love having a mix-up chair. Love this deck decking out here as well. And I just love the use of everything. They've used everything so perfectly. Like even a bit of landscaping. And really good landscaping at that. Oh, I love it. Whoever you are, congratulations on this build, my love. Because it is stunning. Can we get down to that level, please? Thank you. So, obviously, this is a door. This is like a shipping container door. So, they can come straight in through this way or use the big slidey one. Cute. Um, They've only got a microwave in here as well, though. So, it kind of frees up counter space. And you don't really have to have a sink then either. Well, I suppose you do, actually. Maybe there's a sink outside. Um... Can't see one. So this seems to be like the main house. And that seems to be a bedroom up there for one of the other Sims. I know that three Sims live in here. Like one of the... Uh, I can't remember what the family's called. Um, So that's quite interesting. Is that see-through there? Why is that gone see-through? Hmm. Is that a glitch that I'm seeing there? Oh, I think, uh, I think there's a little bit of weirdness going on with that window, my love. That's a shame. But still cute. Still cute. And I love that they've actually kept the shipping container like wallpaper. Oh, and they've put vertical gardens in the bathroom. <gasps> and that tree's poking in. Going to take away 0 0.2 points for that, I'm afraid. <laughs> I used to do that all the time. But yeah, I love this build. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then obviously it's got decking on the top where you can get access from a ladder on this side. Your Sims can come and just chill out. And take in a bit of Take in a bit of scenery. And get some sun in their bones. I love that. That's really cute. Okay. Right. We're going to move on to one that um, I've actually had a little look at actually. Because this area I did. I have played around with this area a little bit. We're going to go and see the. Um, there's a. Yeah this one. We're going to go and see this one here. Because that one's not so good. So here we are loves. At the community space called the waterfront. I think it's called. Um, I have seen this now being transformed as well. I'll put a picture in of I actually transformed mine. Well, it transforms itself once you vote on a community space. But I actually morphed it around a little bit as well and had a little play. And this is what I came up with. I haven't finished it yet, but this is mine over this way. Um, and it's it's cute. It, it's coming along. I'm definitely going to do a little bit more to it. But I don't want to um, redecorate too many of them because I want us to do that in like maybe a let's build form. Um, one thing I did do, and it looks so much better in my opinion, is I just used one of these roofs. I felt that the shape of those roofs just looked a little bit... I know it's supposed to be like a... I don't even know what it's supposed to be, a old warehouse or something. I just thought it looked so much better with just one roof there. I don't know about you guys. Plus, I changed all the fencing and everything at the top as well. Um, but yeah, this place does change a lot when your Sims do vote for community spaces and stuff. So it is very empty at the minute, almost derelict as it's supposed to look. Um, but I don't know. I just, yeah, it's not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite, loves. Definitely not. I did get rid of all of these base game windows as well and swapped them in for some rather fancy looking other ones as well. One house I'm dying to look at and I haven't been to yet is this one here because that one looks very interesting. So I think we'll flop over to there now and have a little wander around. <laughs> okay, we are here. This house is called the Old Mill. So I definitely think it's supposed to be an old mill house. Um, I, I actually really like this. <laughs> I know I've seen it a few other Simmers kind of slate this build, but I actually really like it. I like the way that this roof line is kind of following the shape of the stairs there. I would have maybe, I'm just going to try something. I would have maybe done this. Um. Oh, no, maybe you can't. Maybe I wouldn't then. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll oh, in fact, that even that looks better. <laughs> just because that line there just looks a little bit different to this line. I'm fussy. I'm a Virgo. I know. I'm fussy. I can't help it. But I really like this build. I think it's super cute. I love how they've got a little modern influence with the windows on the edge, on the like sort of outside here as well. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's got a little decking area at the front here. Stunning. I hope the Sims can get up there. That looks very close to a Sim's head. They must be. They must be able to because 
It wouldn't have put it up else. Is there a post missing from here? Yeah, there's a post missing from there. There is a pillar missing from there, my loves. So this is probably the main entrance here. So let's have a little look downstairs. I have, as I said, I've not been into any of these bills yet. So this is going to be the first time I'm seeing it. Uh, let's get the roofs up now. Oh, this is cute. This is very cute. So it is like a renovated mill house. I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. I do. I would have probably chose a different color flooring, but that's just my personal preference. Um, no shade. Oh, it's a shoe cupboard. A shoe cupboard with some dressing gowns in there. See, just those little details that the like the pre-built houses have sometimes can make all the difference. They really can. So up to this level, uh, there's no banister there. Oh, oh Christ. Okay, so there's banister missing there. Um, I love this though because it has got a view of like the dam at the back there. So this is a bedroom. Walk straight up into a bedroom. Uh, okay. That's interesting. I would maybe put a wall there. <laughs> yeah, I would probably put a wall there myself just to separate the bedroom off to because you would have to walk through to get upstairs unless there's another staircase somewhere that I've missed. Nope, nope, nope. That's the only staircase. Okay. Okay. Little nook there, little reading nook with a wood burner. I'm living for that. It's very dark in here, isn't it? Very dark and moody. Yeah, okay. Right, we're going up to the next level. Gonna have a little wander in here as well. And this is another bedroom. Cool. Okay. Um, what's that? Ah, oh, there's a ladder going up there. Okay. Okay. I do like this. It's a very big room, isn't it? It's huge. I'm not sure those bookcases match in very well with this. Um, but I suppose they were limited because they had to use base game. But I would have probably swapped them out for something a little bit different. I would have. Uh, and then they've got the little... Oh, they've got a tiny little... Oh, so this is the entrance from the stairs. <gasps> okay. So they won't have to walk through that way to get up to this room. They can go on the outside. So that's good to know. Okay. I'll let you off. I will let you off. I just want to see where this ladder's going. So it kind of comes here. Where are you? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, and then there's like a little station up here where they can do all their fabricating and... So you can grow inside with these vertical gardens. I'm definitely going to be doing that in the kitchens. See, I'm learning something new now. But, oh Christ, we just dropped down then. But I I, I like this build. I actually do. Especially from this angle. I think it looks so cool from that angle. Yeah, I'm all for that. I really am. Let's move on to another one, shall we? Okay, so we're in the conifer station area of Evergreen uh, Harbour now. Um, yeah, we're here. We're in a different area now. So we're having a little wander around. We were just there just a minute, minute ago, weren't we? Lovely. Um, I'm, I don't know what this kind of changes into and looks like, but that would make such a good, like, retail lot. I know we can't probably use it as a shell, but I would love some shops and there's little arches there. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, let's get that grid off. Oh my god, that window placement is making me absolutely angry. Oh my god. Why does that side look so much better than the other sides? I mean... What is... What's this? Come on now, for goodness sake. That's all you had to do. Oh, that door's not central now, but it can be. See, even the door's not central. Let me see this layout to know what we're working with. Oh, it's because there's a bathroom there. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I would have shuffled those windows maybe just at the top to look like that rather than that there. But okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this top. <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, okay. Um, why is the roof patterns different as well? The roof patterns different. Why is that roof like that there? Oh my God. No, no. No. <laughs> Were you drunk when you built this? <laughs> Was someone drunk? <laughs> I'm doing this all out of fun and jest as well. I'm not being mean or being a bully. But my God. <laughs> my God. My God indeed. So into the entrance. Again, I haven't seen any of this. Uh, base game chandelier is going on. Straight into a huge, huge dining room. Oh, is that another 
What's this? Oh, so this is an entrance out into the decking here. So you could have put a glass door there. It would have made so much difference. Put a glass door there. Um, I get what they were trying to do with the table. Kind of trying to get into the bay windows and stuff. But I think that this room is way too big. Way too big. Wow. Not a bad kitchen. Um, I would have prefer probably used a different wallpaper. I just don't think the wood panelling matches in well with a kitchen. Especially when it's like at the splashback at the back. But the kitchen's nice. I like the use of the island and stuff. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Let's go over to here to what I'm guessing is going to be the living area. Okay. Um. Yeah, see, it's just... I don't know. It's quite depressing, <laughs> isn't it? I would like a window. I, I think that's where I wanted that window as well. Yes, it is. Yes. So a window would have looked great there. So we'll definitely be rectifying that when we come to renovating it. Definitely. The windows are really high as well, aren't they? The windows are very high. What's that behind there? That's a bookcase. Okay. Right. Let's get up the stairs. Let's get up the stairs. Did I look in here? Oh, it's a bathroom. With a sink and a toilet in and nothing else. Could have fit a shower in there. <laughs> God, I'm like Lloyd Grossman. Who would live in a house like this? Interesting color of chair with the fireplace. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this landing's nice. I do like the landing. I bet Timothy loves the landing. Absolutely loves it. Okay, bedroom. What is with this wallpaper usage in here as well? It's very... <laughs> Just not for me. Okay, this is weird. That's weird. This is... I would have put that in the garden or something. Okay. Yep, coming out of here. I'm not a fan of this house. And the bathroom. Toilet's really awkwardly into the corner there as well. Like, I actually really love that bath in front of that window. It's nice. But I just, I've used that window to death that I'm sick of seeing that window. Is anybody else like that? Okay, I think that's it. I think that is it for the rooms. Let's just do a check just in case I haven't seen one. But I do think it is. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll finish on a good point. And I think the front of the house is okay. They could have just easily got rid of, oh, not you. They could have got rid of that there. Just made it, you know, just a little, just a little bit better. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right. Okay. Um, we're going we're gonna to go on to the next one. <laughs> okay. So we're here at another community space as well. So obviously this community space has not changed yet with gameplay. It's still quite derelict and needs to have a use for whatever you may wish. You can choose a couple of things. I, well, I think there's three things you can choose it into. But I mean, without all the rubbish and stuff, I really actually love this i love the curve of the fence and stuff going around i think that's really cute i might, may have to steal that idea actually this would be a really good space for a community garden oh definitely i'm feeling that um so this is obviously going to be i would imagine a toilet yes the toilet doors are going through it um yeah this is cute it's, it is it's cute the window placement and stuff as well it always bothers me with the pre-built lots that they never color the roof like, they could easily just put on a base game roof onto it, no matter what colour. Just to, like, I don't know, give it a bit more detail. That one thing has just completely just changed it. Um, I know they're going on, like, polygon count and stuff like that. But mm, I think a roof, a roof tile would look lovely there. Oh, my Lord. Look at the state of this place. <laughs> oh, 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 this needs some, this needs some TLC. Ah, oh, so you can rummage in all of these. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Ooh. Do these all come in like debug then? I would imagine they are. I haven't had a proper look through debug yet. Only at the uh, furniture and stuff that you can get. So yeah, this is cute. I would definitely make this into like a community garden space or even a community pool area. And have this as like the showers and kind of bath houses. And maybe like a little sitting area. And you could put a little food court and something down here. See, that's what, that's what I love about seeing these kind I wish I could see more of this in, like, pre-built um, EA lots where they are meant to be run down. Because you, it feeds your imagination then on what it actually could be. I love that. I do. I love it. Okay. Right, we're going to go and have a little wonder at another one. Another one. We probably won't get all of them done today, but I'm going to pick the ones that I can see on the map that 
kind of jumps out to me. So here we are at one of the uh, kind of minor houses, I think they are. I think this is supposed to be, oh, it's called Minor Mansion. So yeah, it does make sense. These are supposed to be like minor like houses. Um, I, is this what American kind of minor houses look like? Because we've got loads of like little minor terraced houses like around where I live and around the whole country because obviously mining was a huge thing in the UK years ago. Um, I really like this house. I think the shape's nice. That one window there is really bothering me though. That window is really bothering me. Um, yeah, cute. What's with this just little tiny bit of landscape? Like, what? Why? 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 <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> don't know about that. But this is really cute. I really like this house. This will be really fun to kind of give a big makeover to. I would definitely, definitely be up for making this over, my loves. So is this the front air, the front door? Okay. Right into the living room area. This is big enough to have made like a small porch. You could have just made a small porch there. It would have made such a difference um, to me because I'm a fussy ass Virgo. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, using a lot of the base game furniture again. What is with, why have they got candelabras in here? Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't understand that at all. <laughs> nice candelabra in a miner's house. Stunning. Nice kitchen. Actually is a really nice kitchen. I'm for that. I would have changed the tiles. That's it. Everything else is working nicely. It's got two sinks. Okay. Okay, two sinks. Um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be me going through all of these. Okay. Yeah, lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely. Lovely. Bathroom. Ooh. Ooh. What's that? Oh, it's a, it's a blind. Why is it so dark on this side? Is that the wrong way around or something? Hello? No, it's just the lighting again. And I've got my reshade off, so it's not my reshade. Uh, ooh. And that sink there, my love. Flopping into the top of that tap. Don't want to be fussy, but you know. Virgo. <laughs> My excuse is for everything now. It's just, I'm Virgo. Sorry. Sorry, but I'm a Virgo. Oh, brown carpet. <sighs> brown carpet. Those windows are up so high. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Yeah, this place is in... Oh, so that's that weird one window, is it? Okay. Okay. Um... So this is supposed to be an office area. I'm not feeling that wallpaper in here. I think that wallpaper is like supposed to be like a sand cement or something. So I'm just not feeling it in here. Yeah, I don't understand that room. So let's go into this one. Another bathroom using a lot of the base game stuff again. Um, no comment. <laughs> into a bedroom. Um, yeah, no. No, no, no. Just the mix of the furniture. It's just weird which is very strange like with the shag the shag i think it is actually called the shag something those uh curtains yeah i'm not mm, not for okay oh it's cute yeah that's cute see this fits because it's fitting with that's like gray carpet with gray walls and a little bit of a modern bed with a twist with a bit of fun wallpaper and some like i don't know that there just fits in a lot better than say that room that we just came out of do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? No. Oh, what's that little room there? Is that a closet? Oh, that's a closet off of the master bedroom. We didn't go in here. Okay. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But, and this is obviously going to be a little ensuite. I think I saw that. Or was it just the same as the other one? I'm getting lost here. There we go. And into just a little closet. Or what's supposed to supposed to be a closet is there no dresser in here how are your sims supposed to get changed and then out onto a balcony area here as well i mean i love the shape of this house i think the shape of this house is nice the actual kind of layout is okay i would change a few things here and there but all in all obviously it's got a little back garden area as well i would have preferred to see have seen this on decking and then connect the decking back here to this door to kind of make sense but um but okay yeah 
Okay, have we got time for one more? We'll squeeze in one more. Okay, so it's another community space. This is the quarry house. I really love the shape of this. I really, really like the shape of this. Um, I don't know why. It's just, I don't know. It's got a nice got a nice shape to it. I just want to do one thing though. Just one thing. Is that okay? Just one thing. Just a, just one little thing. Just that. There we go. I'm much more happier now. The Virgo inside me has been fed and we are for it. I've just noticed that this has got a different fence there to here. Hmm. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Again, it's that rundown aesthetic that I'm loving. And I understand what this is supposed to be. Like a old kind of warehouse slash workhouse for the quarry. So it's got such a good space as well. Like, I'm a fan of this. I actually am. Because I can see the potential of what this could be. And it really fits into this area as well. It just fits into this quarry area. Which I also love, by the way. I do. One thing I'm disappointed with, with this area. Well, I'll have to go into this mode. Is that we can't swim. Sims can't swim in this. That would have been the perfect opportunity to allow your Sims to, like, swim into this water. Such a shame. I could be wrong, but I tried with my sim and they wouldn't do it. They would not do it at all. But yeah, I like this. I do. This is the, another one that I do like. Uh, I can see the potential of this. So yeah, in the next couple of weeks, we'll start um, renovating these builds. And what I want to try and do is not change the build too much. Like maybe, obviously, windows, doors, layouts on the inside. But I want to keep the footprint the same. I just want to make it look a little bit more better. So eat, we'll go through and we'll do a little let's build where we'll just renovate a few of them. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on that. I'd be very interested to know. Um, so yeah, just a different video today. A little bit of a chilled video. Just showing you around and talking absolute crap. I thought it was quite fun. Um, as always, leaving me some lovely comments, lovely, lovely comments below in the comment box. I will try and reply to them all. I will be back tomorrow with the next part of Mrs. Higginbottoms or Ms. Higginbottoms. I've developed the story a little bit more, darlings. Um, she's going to be, yeah, we're going to be building the rest of that tomorrow. Um, so expect it. And then that's the last video for this week. Then, then it'll go into next week and we'll see what we'll do next week. We'll definitely try and do a um, one of these like let's build or let's rebuild. Um what's it called I just about to say harbor lights it's not harbor lights at all well you know you know where <laughs> i'm gonna leave you now because my brain is fried and i will see you all tomorrow bye friends